Hey YouTube, this is uh, Curious Guy. Uh, this is a short video on a basic audio amplifier, a Class A amplifier. Uh, I'm looking at amplifiers as part of a, a larger understanding of how os uh, oscillators work. Uh, in one of my other clips I talked about the LC circuit, which is a, a device or an arrangement that gives you uh, a frequency, uh, albeit with a decaying output. Uh, you can see the amplitude is, is decreasing. Um, but good oscillators will have an amplifying component which can overcome that kind of decay uh, and help to push energy back into the, uh, the frequency circuit. And it pushes it back through a positive feedback loop. Uh, essentially the positive feedback is uh, uh, something like this where you have your, your frequency going on like an LC circuit. It goes into an amplifier, makes it much bigger, uh, and then a piece of that can be pushed back into the uh, into the frequency timing circuit, if you like, uh, and it has just the right frequency and just the right energy to compensate for the losses. So you go from this decaying output to something really good, which is like a nice flat amplifier, uh, ampl uh, amplitude. So, uh, so I dug out one of my reference books here, Success in Electronics, by a guy called Tom Duncan, which is a great book. Uh, in fact, over the years I bought it twice without, without knowing I had it the first time. Uh, it's such a good read. Uh, in here he talks about uh, a basic audio amplifier with a transistor and two resistors and what's called a decoupling capacitor. Um, and the, the secret to amplifiers is that, with, with, with a transistor anyway, is that the transistor is not in the full off state and it's not in the full saturated on state. It's in that gray zone in between. Uh, and in that in-between zone it's very sensitive to changes in the base. It's very easy for a transistor to go from off to on and back to off again. Uh, maintaining some, some stability in between uh, is where it's very sensitive, and that's the value of the transistor that, in that quiescent state. Uh, small adjustments to the input of the, at the base can produce quite large outputs. Um, so, uh, well anyway, I uh, uh, created uh, a circuit like this and did some calculations on what my, my values would be for my resistors. Um, and uh, don't bore you with the details. Here's my calculations. Basically, I'm using a uh, NPN 2N3904, which I think is a fairly standard uh, uh, NPN silicon transistor. I built the circuit originally and put in some values for the resistors, not really thinking what they were, and calculated what the gain is, the DC gain, the forward, uh, forward gain with the common emitter arrangement, and it's 245, which is pretty amazing. Right? A little device like this is amplifying or changing the base current uh, by a factor of 245 to create a, a larger collector current. Did the calculations, came out with values for my base, uh, for my collector load resistor uh, of 1,000 ohms and 470,000 ohms for the base. Uh, and the only two assumptions I really made was that I wanted uh, 5 milliamps in the collector, uh, I did a calculation to see what this number was, and uh, I wanted to have the output at the collector when there's no input signal, so in the quiescent state of 5 volts, which is half of my 10 volt supply, which you can see over there. And the reason that you want 5 volts, or, or half the supply, is that that means that the transistor is just kind of sitting in between the full range of 0 volts and 10 volts, it's sitting in the middle. And so as you apply a small signal to the base, it has plenty of room on the upside and the downside to create the amplified version of that signal without any clipping. Uh, and so just to uh, show those values actually work, let's have a look on the, on the meter here, if I can do this with one hand. Uh, hang on one sec. Hang on. Uh, okay. Yeah. There you go. The voltage at the collector... Uh, with these currents with no base input is 4.98 volts. Really pleased with that. Uh, and then again, that's half of my 10 volt supply. So let's see the, uh, let's have a look at this uh, amplifier in, in, uh, in action. So what I'm going to do is connect up my oscilloscope. I'll put it there. I'm going to take the uh, signal from the output, this decoupling uh, capacitor. Essentially what's happening is right now the output of the collector is 5 volts. 5 volts DC, DC current. And as I add a, a varying signal into the base of the transistor, 
I'll get uh, a larger varying signal at the collector. Say, say it goes up to 6 volts, 7 volts, down to 3 volts, up to 2 volts, down to 2 volts, up to, to 7, 8, and so forth. It bounces around. Effectively what that is, it's a varying DC current. It's not an AC current. It's, it's, it's got an AC component variability, but it's sitting on top of 5 volts. So the way to uh, uh, get around that is to uh, uh, put a capacitor in, which stops all DC flow, and all you see then is a alternating current uh, bobbing up and down around zero volts, which should mimic essentially the, the same uh, AC signal you have uh, at, your, at your input. Uh, what am I going to use? Well, um, something small, something that's going to produce a small uh, voltage and small current, and it's one of these. It's a piezoelectric transducer, a uh, piezo crystal inside, connected to some wires. Uh, the basic idea is that uh, uh, it will uh, deform uh, when I speak into it or make a small noise, creating a, a voltage. Uh, that voltage creates a very small current, and hopefully this, uh, this uh, device will amplify it somewhat and allow me, let me see uh, what's going on. So I'll connect it up uh, to the, the base. I don't know if I can get it in there. And connect this up to ground. And we can have a look on the oscilloscope. If I do some light tapping, you can just see those in there. If I tap a bit harder, You can see, pretty sensitive. In fact, it's so sensitive that if I don't touch it at all, but I just lean into it a little bit and start talking, you can see that it's transferring my voice uh, sounds into uh, voltage. And that voltage is then being passed into the amplifier and producing uh, some nice output. This is great. Uh, one thing to note is the screen of my oscilloscope is set to uh, one, one division is one volt. So uh, top to bottom, the screen is showing you about 8 volts. So you can see, if I speak even louder or more closely to the uh, uh, transducer, I'm getting about 3, 4, potentially even 5 volts across the screen. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. That's, uh, as I say, 5 volts uh, across uh, the output of this small uh, single transistor amplifier uh, from a very small input. I think that's pretty cool. All right, that's it. That's all I want to show you. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye.